Hey everyone, Marshmallow Man here. Today we're talking about the Roborock S6 Max V. The Roborock S6 Max V is the flagship of Roborock's cleaning robot line. For those who may not know, Roborock is the ODM for many cleaning robots out in the market, and the flagship is jam packed with many features. The S6 Max V features a unique, one of a kind camera setup. This is the first time we're seeing an actual camera on the robot itself, so we're pretty excited about it. Join us in this review as we explore the Roborock S6 Max V, the cleaning robot with eyes. As you unbox the Roborock S6 Max V, you will find a power cable, an air filter for the vacuum, a moisture proof mat, a particularly good touch especially if you are stationing the robot on wooden flooring and want to avoid damage from water leakage. It also comes with a user manual, a connection guide, a mop cloth and mop cloth bracket, which is separate from the water reservoir, the robot itself, and a charging dock. The Roborock S6 Max V is encased in a black, glossy casing. Not a particular fan of this as it can get scratches from dust and particles when cleaning. Under the Z logo, you will find the optical sensor for mapping. We will elaborate more on this later. At the back of the robot is the water reservoir. Under the casing is the dust collection compartment, which is pretty easy to move. The filters can also be removed and replaced. It even comes with a cleaning brush too. Be careful with it though as it has a blade built in. Under the robot, you will find the vacuum compartment. The cover can be easily removed to access the vacuum brush within. The vacuum brush can also be removed and replaced. That's all on the overview of the S6 Max V. Now let's take the lens protective stick off and move on to the setup. Setting up the S6 Max V is pretty easy. Just hook it up to the charging dock, there's a power adapter port on the right side, plug it in and turn it on. A single LED indicator will light up. If the LED is white, that means that the robot's battery is higher than 20%. Less than that and the LED light would be red. Let's connect the robot to the Roborock app now. Download the Roborock app from the Play Store or App Store, register an account like we did here and click on Add Device. The app will automatically search for nearby Roborock devices. Key in your Wi-Fi details, let it run its course and you're good to go. Now, let's talk about mapping. Usually, to have your robot effectively clean your house, you must have it map it first. With the Roborock S6 Max V, however, there is no mapping process. The robot maps the room as it goes, as compared to other robots which need mapping runs before they go into full vacuum and mopping mode. The Roborock S6 Max V has two sensors at the top, which is most likely an optical sensor and laser distance sensor combo. As you can see, while it is rotating, it effectively measures and maps the room. Other sensors available on the S6 Max V is the camera module in front of the robot. To set it up, you need to key in a few security details. In case you're wondering, Roborock guarantees that none of the video footage captured are collected and the robot is certified by Tube Rhineland as a safe, smart product. The Roborock S6 Max V passed standards that manufacturers use as guides to develop IoT products against cybersecurity risks. As you can see, the video quality is good enough to monitor the movement of the robot. The image captured is processed by Roborock's Reactive AI to identify any obstacles and effectively avoid it. Observe as the robot's Reactive Eye successfully recognizes a pair of slippers and avoids it. The Roborock S6 Max V took about 30 minutes to clean my living room, dining area, and kitchen. This is about 10 minutes more than other robots I've tried which did the same thing. I'll touch on this more later. After the first clean and mapping, the robot now has full map data of the floor. With this data, you can customize certain zones for it to clean via the Roborock app. You can also instruct the robot to clean certain areas without mopping it or adjust its suction power. Now, let's talk about the full cleaning experience. The Roborock S6 Max V's water tank is separate from the mop section. As you can see here, the water tank holds about 300 ml of water and is good for about 200 square meters of mopping. My place has an area of 80 square meters, so it's good for two cleaning runs. Just simply fill the tank with water and floor detergent if your choice. Snap off the mop from the tank, install the whole snap mop system, 
and off it goes. To clean, ensure water tank is properly filled. The S6 Max V's movement is both smooth and slower than other robots. Its slow movement ensures it receives less impact when colliding. The robot is also low enough for it to get under furniture. The robot goes under my IKEA TV cabinet without any problems at all. It's also louder than other robots we've tried before, though it's still not as loud as a traditional vacuum cleaner. Of course, you can always turn it down by lowering the suction power. It has no problem dealing with intense dust, as you can see here. After vacuuming the dust off, the mopping cleans up whatever's left over. The vacuuming area is as wide as the robot. If you have large patches of dust, which the robot can't fully cover, because of the vacuuming pattern the robot adheres to, it always ensures that all areas are covered. The mopping area is slightly towards the center as the robot overlaps its cleaning path. The whole area will be cleaned accordingly. To sum it all up, the Roborock S6 Max V is a worthy cleaning robot. Here's what we love about the robot. Object recognition is great for retracing its cleaning work as you can always identify what would obstruct its cleaning. It doesn't have a pre-mapping process which means it can jump straight into action on first setup. Great for situations where you need a quick cleanup. The robot moves at a slower speed and will slow down before collision. This way the robot receives less damage over time. The S6 Max V's mop cleaning is among the cleanest I've seen on a cleaning robot. The presence of manual control when manual cleaning is needed. Despite that, it's not perfect. It takes the Roborock S6 Max V about 30 minutes to clean my house compared to other robots which take around 20 minutes. It's also louder, though not as loud as a conventional vacuum cleaner. When it comes down to it, as long as it gets our floors clean, its speed and noise isn't really much of a problem to us. At the price of 2,199 ringgit, the Roborock S6 Max V is among the most expensive cleaning robots out there. But it's justified by its innovative system as well as its smart and effective cleaning ability. It's also a lifestyle change of sorts, as it takes one or two hours out of my cleaning time which I can then either put into my work or even do some working out. I really think getting a cleaning robot is a really worthwhile investment, and the Roborock S6 Max V is a good place to start. This is Marshmallow Man signing off.